Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at replacements for the number of services that are going to be deprecated with macOS Server. And today we're going to take a look at VPN. Uh, now one of the advantages of having macOS Server was the ability to use VPN to get back to your Mac and to do so over a secure line of connection. And so now we've got to find a replacement for that because that service is going away. Well, I did find an application uh, called VPN Enabler. It's by Cut Edge Software and the developer Bernard, uh, who does a really good job of updating these things. Uh, I had uh, contact with him to be able to see how this might work. The nice thing about VPN Enabler is it is a free application. And so it should be easy for you to uh, hopefully use and set up. So what we're gonna do is transfer the VPN from where I have it right now over to VPN Enabler. And so you'll want to make sure that you shut the service down um, before you get started. But in our case, I'm just going to show you how to do the setup, so I'll leave it alone. Uh, what we need to do is log into our server to authenticate against it, and so or, or into your Mac. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that and log in. And so this is the configuration screen. And you can see I've got a red dot right now, meaning that the service is not reachable and not up and running. Now, for configuring it, I can choose to do L2TP, right, level two tunneling protocol, or PT, PPTP, which is the older protocol. And so I would use L2TP because that's the one that uh, is the most modern and tends to work the best. Right here, we're gonna put in our host name. And so you can see here where we had our host name with our server name right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Okay, there's my host name right there. Now for DNS servers on here, what we're gonna do is uh, use the actual host name for the server that we're using. And so whatever it is that your max local IP is, that's what you're gonna put in here. So in my case, I'm just gonna put a number in. And so there's my uh, DNS server name. Now you can optionally put in search domains if you wanna do that or leave it blank. In our case, I'm gonna leave it blank. I don't I have that over here that I wanna use. So you can see I have no domains. Now we have a starting and ending IP address. Now you can uh, click to suggest addresses, right? So if I click that, it's going to suggest some addresses and fill it in for me. Uh, or what I can do if I want is set up my own uh, addressing. And so what it's done is it's read my network. It's put down what my DNS servers are. It's also put down a suggested uh, network range. If I come over here, I can edit these addresses. You'll notice that it did give the same suggested range, 224 to 254. So it did use uh, the addressing that I had before, which is really nice because it fills it in automatically for me. Now down here, I can put in a shared secret uh, of any kind. And so I just say set shared secret and I can put that in. I'm just gonna put a number in for right now. Just make something up, say save. So now I've got a shared secret that's in there. That's all set and ready to go. And then down here is where I put in my VPN users. And so I'm gonna set up account names and passwords. So whatever you have over here for your users, account names and passwords, you would duplicate them over here. So I'm just gonna put test and uh, put that in there. And the other thing I can do is I can save a mobile configuration profile to the desktop so that that profile can then just be emailed to my clients and they can use that to just click on it and install VPN automatically, similar to what we do over here with saving the configuration profile right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create this. Uh, again, if I clicked this, it would do it. If not, I'm just gonna leave that alone and say create. And so what it's gonna do is create this user for me. And you can see there's my test user right in there. I can always create the configuration profile later and I'm all set. Now all I need to do is I just click on start uh, VPN right here. In fact, if I click on it, I'll start it. You can see I got the green dot. Now the service is up and running. And all I have to do now is install VPN on my client machines just like I normally would and just like I've shown in the VPN screencast. So uh, again, just a really great application, a quick way to set up a VPN server using what's already built into Mac OS server. And uh, you can do it using this free application called VPN Enabler. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.